time for more TNT. So today, um, I worked on tiling a modular compressor that I made. Um, so I originally um, made this right here. Um, well, it started with this version, but this version's wiring sucks. So I cleaned it up to this um, and put this temporary output here. It's pretty clean, so all you have to do is flick that. And it would normally translocate, except for the fact that I forgot to put a block here. That's pretty cool. Um, so, I don't know, I structure blocked this one. Anyways, so I took it and I worked on making it tiled. Um, so right here we have 120 TNT. Um, because of the TNT per chunk limit, um, this is aligned on a chunk border. So there's 60 TNT in this, 60 TNT in this, and they're right on the chunk. Um, so that we can circumvent that. Um, these are not directional in any way, which make them really good for um, large amount cannons. And I only had to change a few things. Um, so you can see right here I normally have this wiring. I had to change it to this so that um, these didn't interfere. I had to change this wiring right here to this, which honestly looks cleaner, so I'll probably do it on the other side as well. Um, and I think that's about it. I removed the back translocator thing because um, this is easier. And then I changed out the middle pistons with a slime and honey block to two normal pistons to avoid push limit. So basically what we're doing is we're translocating all of the TNT downwards and then transferring it into an output line via this one fence gate in the middle. Um, just to show you better, I will go over to the layout. So here it is right here. We've got the sliders for powering the dispensers on all of these. It's not the most efficient. We'll be working to make one with a better layout. Um, so those are all powered first to get the TNT, and then we push them down with um, these fence gate setups to translocate 60 TNT down. Um, and then we push this down to move the fence gate downwards and move the TNT into these. We reset it like this, but we have a bottom piston right here that would be get grabbed by the slime, so then we power this last piston to push this up. And of course, we power the output somewhere in there. Um, um, so I changed this out to two pistons, obviously. Um, and this does need a toggle state because we can't double pulse this piston slider. If it goes down and then back up, it will push two TNT out, and they will be at different timings. So that doesn't work well for compression. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's about it. We've got it right here, and this puts out 120 TNT in a very fast manner. I'll finally show it. Here we go. It's very speedy, and as you can see, it's a lot of TNT. I'm going to stand there and let myself get blown up. There I go. <laughs> Luke and Totem are talking about the scuffed nature of my wiring. Of course, because, yeah, this is interesting. So we have the translocator lines right here. Um, and then it goes into another one. And then, unfortunately, we can't have a normal reset. So what a normal reset would look like is, let's look in here. So we've got this double piston set up like this. So when it goes forward, it'll push the fence gates forward. And then it'll push backwards to put these fence gates back. We can't do that. We don't have space for that. So in the translocation sequence, we put um, sticky pistons facing these fence gates with observers, um, which will push those back, and it will reset the thing just fine. Um, it took a while to figure out this output because there's so little space to work with. But yeah, that's all I wanted to, to show. We've been working on a lot of compression on Amelix. And yeah, that's it. See you later.